this moment. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for this time right now, Heavenly Father. Lord, we come to you right now, Lord. We ask you once again, Lord, allow your glory, Lord, to fill this temple. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, that you bless every petition which has been offered up on today. Oh, God, we come to you right now, Heavenly Father. Allow a word to fall from on high on today. Lord, God, bless the longing soul, Heavenly Father. Touch our young people in a mighty way. Heavenly Father, bless the speaker of the hour, Lord, on tonight. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, allow the Holy Ghost to have its way, Lord, on this evening. Lord, God, allow the praises, Lord, from the temple to ring out through the neighborhood, that it may touch someone's heart on the street, that someone may hear a word from you, Lord, and come in and get saved, Father. Lord God, the praise touch, touch the backslider. Lord God, wherever they may be right now, Father. Lord God, bless them before it's everlasting too late. Touch that saint that's going through. Touch that soul that's lost. Touch that soul that's confused. Lord God, the praise, it is in you and through you, Lord. We move, we live, and we have our being, Lord God. Heavenly Father, have your way, Lord, on tonight. Lord God of grace, give us what we need, Lord, to hold up the bloodstained banner. Lord God of grace, we come to you right now. Continue to anoint our pastor and first lady. Bless those that are coming to the service, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we believe that there will be a word on tonight, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we ask for victory. We ask for release on today. We ask for closure. We ask for, for clarity of word, Lord God of grace. Give us what we need, Lord, to know that the things that we are going through, it is not for not, Lord. But it's all for righteousness sake. Lord God of grace, we thank you right now that it's all saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading from Psalms chapter 34, verses 1 through 3. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. The word of the Lord is already blessed.
damnation, something in your mind, in your heart. Because we're going to speak to it right now. Amen. Now we didn't always have all these ministries. God is adding 
before we go any further, we want to acknowledge Amen. Lady Parker and Pastor Parker, you can just stand up. Sneakers, 
because me and Pastor Jones couldn't say. All in the mic. This live streaming is going all over the world. <laughs> Man, we are so grateful for this family and friends fellowship uh, today. And Man, thank God for all of you that are here and some of you we acknowledged earlier and, and have been acknowledged and thank God for you. I'm so grateful today for uh, my friend, this year, Thompson. Right. Amen. Uh, all the fellowship folks here. here. Amen. And, um, and actually, he's our district elder. He's our district elder. Amen. Yeah. He's my district elder. He's the district elder of this church. And some of you know that I'm now district elder elect, and um, I was given um, assignment, uh, a district to uh, be over, and uh, I am over the central, what they call the central district. I forget what the number is, four, I believe it was three or four, it's Lansing. So the churches in Lansing and Saginaw, I'm responsible for being a district elder. They gave me the option, they said I could put our church under that, under that district and I would be the district elder over there. But I said, no, I want to leave our church in the district it's in with district elder Thompson. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, Bishop, Buford, Bishop Buford gave me the option of doing that. He said, it's up to you. You can take your church with you, put it under your district. And I said, I want to, I want to leave it in um, the hands of district elder Thompson. He's my friend. He works with us so nicely. And, we have great fellowship with, uh, with the congregation, and amen. And I just think it makes sense, uh, you know, to, if I need some help, I, mean, I want to be able to holler for some help and don't have to holler too loud. <laughs> you know, I, who knows, I might need some money coming up here real soon, you know? I might need some money real soon, and uh, I want to be able to call my district elder. Yeah, him and, uh, yeah, him and his wife, the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for it. Did you testify? Would you testify? Yeah, Lady Thompson. Come on, testify. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right. Yes. 
you inspired us. How many of you have been saved for at least uh, five years? Raise your hand. Been saved by the church. Boy, you ought to just give God a praise just for that. Baptized in the name of Jesus and full of the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me? When was the last time you spoke in tongues? You ever heard about that? And ye beloved, building up your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Look. Every now and then, you know you need to step out of yourself and step into it. It can do for you what nothing else can. Some of us afraid to do it, you know. Nobody knows nobody know what I'm saying. Uh, you're in the wrong business, my friend. You're in the wrong business. Let's go for a moment, uh, Pastor Jones, if you allow me uh, to just speak for a few minutes. And as I said, I won't be long because of uh, I know the time. At least I thought I knew the time. What time is that? All right, 5.30, all right. I don't want to labor uh, too long here, but it's just good to know the Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we are for very thankful that you would allow us uh, to be here. And we thank you for the favor and the faith. That every day with you is sweeter than the day before. I pray for the tongue of the learned the wisdom to navigate this book in such a way that it would be inspiring to your people. Help us to love you and to love one another and to forgive one another, to be more tolerant with one another. Show yourself strong in our midst. If there's any sick among us, I pray that you be healed, that you be delivered, that you be set free. What's wrong, he is able to make it right. And so we expect a miracle from you in Jesus' wonderful name. Give us understanding and wisdom in all that we say and do. We will bless you in Jesus' name. All the people say amen. amen. All right. I would like for just a few moments. Uh, Pastor said whatever God gave you. And I would like for you to look at 1 Corinthians. Paul letter uh, to the church in Corinth. All right. Chapter number 4. I ran across this the other night. And I thought it would be befitting if I just took a moment just sort of to remind us of who we are and whose we are. And that I know that we are struggling, we are having difficulties in our lives, many of us. Sometimes it seems like you pray and nothing happens. You fast and nothing happens. But I do want you to know that he has already declared that he would never leave you. Nor would he forsake you. Now you gotta remember something. Sometimes we're praying for stuff that he already told us we got. Now why would you pray for a thousand dollars in your pocket? You just need to know you got it. But you don't have to pray for certain things. There are things we need to pray for. But there are times as the writer in the 8th chapter of Romans says, sometimes we don't know what we ought to be. But if you need money, you ought to know how to pray for money. All right. If you need strength and you weak, you should know how to pray. Come on now, y'all. Y'all should already size me up. I've been here many times, y'all. Right. Like I'm new. I ain't new. I'm old. I'm yesterday's new. I'm the past ten. Come on now. But what has to happen is that the lack of word in us has become a problem. What I teach is that in the beginning was the word. Remember that? And the word was with God. And the word was God. You know what I'm the more word you get in you, the more God you got. Tell your name, I need more words. The entrance to the word, he says. Now, by the way, you don't expect me to speak any faster than I'm going. I don't 
don't expect a crow today. <laughs> I, I, I want to just teach something for them, but I want us to see something in biblical order. I want us to see this. You know, uh, Jesus made a statement. He said to Peter after he said, uh, what are they saying about me? And he began to say that some say you're a prophet, others say you're Elijah. And Jeremiah, you're just one of those prophets. He said, well, what are you saying? Peter said, only man out of all of them. Remember, Jesus is teaching them. That's why I said we got to pay attention in church. You got to pay attention. Tell you that we got to pay attention in church. Because if you're not careful, the word will bypass us and somebody else will get what was really intended for you. All right. All right. So we got to pay attention in the church. Peter was the only one said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. You know what Jesus said? Upon your confession, upon this rock, I will build my church, he said, and the very gates of hell shall not prevail against me. Now, now watch me here because the problem is that we're praying and there's all this stuff going on about the church. You don't worry about the church. The church going to be fine. All right. All right. All right. Jesus died for the church. The church will be fine. All right. All right. The very gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. The church will be fine. Look over and take it there because I'm the church now. And I'm fine. See, I'm, I'm, I'm the church. I'm the ecclesia. I've been called out of darkness. And to a marvelous light. Now listen to me now. And when he says that, that term implies summons. God has summoned you. And if you really read it, it means snatched you out of God. He had to snatch you out of God. Yes, you out of yes, now you're in the church. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, you bad news for the devil. Yeah. Tell him, you bad news for the devil. Yeah. You behave the out. You are a demon chaser. But you need word in you. Word. Here we are now. We just come out of that world. The Bible said they called us out of darkness to a marvelous light. We come out of that now. Okay, now remember, if you don't like on this side, the devil will always take you back. Just remember that. I'm like Pastor Mark. We sitting here now saying we're having fun. Why in the world I want to go back there? I'm having fun up in here. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm having fun here. Yes. He delivered you from the powers of darkness. Yes. Listen to the term into the kingdom of God's dear Son. So we got to know everything that we have in the kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, first of all. We gotta stay. We, we, we're too quiet. Sometimes tell you, don't don't get quiet. See, folk get quiet in the church. I won't be here long. I told y'all because I gotta come back. I'm your district elder, so I don't want to mess up here. But you don't want to get too quiet because you are a spirit speaking creature. You are a, the creation that you are says you must speak. Don't just think love. Execute love. Show it by doing something. Yes, sir. We were at our presider's, uh, our presider's birthday celebration. I've been, District Gill, I've been homing in on we call honor is a handshake. This is not honor. Oh, I just want to tell you, I, I, I honor you, man. You, I, I just love you. Oh, you can be seated. That's not honor. <laughs> That's a game. Yeah. It takes time to honor men. All right. Especially men with work behind them. Uh, yeah. So I want you to think. I want you to think. So I'm here because the Lord ordained me. All right. Put a word in my mouth. And I just want you to understand. When you say you're going to honor, let's look at the, this lovely Shayla. Man, you got to go. But <laughs> you can't honor her by saying, first lady, we love you. That's not a, All right. That's a conversation. All right. Same thing with God. You can't tell God, Lord, I just love to praise you, and you just sit there looking at I just love to praise Jesus. Everybody up there clapping. You sit there talking, uh-huh, uh-huh. We're not a spectator in the church. 
You are here for a reason. You're here for a reason. Listen. Yeah. Listen to me. I want to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 9. 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. I hope I could get my point across because sometimes you get mad, you're, 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 you're manipulating your way through and uh, what's in my spirit and what I've been seeing. Sometimes as a preacher, you know, it's difficult to get it. And when you sit down, you think, oh, no. The way you received it was one way, but the way you put it out is another way. All right. Yes. See, I'm fully aware. Your folks said you got just bind the devil. The devil already bind. I don't know how you're gonna bind something that's already bind. You just in your mind. All right. Oh no, he's not loose, so don't loose him. You're not supposed to loose your devil. Uh -uh. You don't want to loose him. Bind him. Tell him to be silent. Go get up. I just want to testify and let the devil know. You don't even let the devil know nothing. He already knows it. You want Jesus to know that he is your high power. You want him to know he's the lily in the valley. He's your bright. You want Jesus to know that. You don't have to testify for the devil in the church. All right. Too much of that going on. Church ain't about you. It's about him. All right. You have to be quick and who were dead. You were dead at the time, but he put you together and put life in you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You somebody now. All right. All right sir. If you don't watch it, the enemy have you back to sign. You look at Everybody having a good time. You say, what's this? What's what, 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 uh, It was all right. It was all right. You got to get involved. You're not saved to just decorate your seat. No, you, you're saved because you are. Well, let's read this. Look at verse number nine. If you have the Bible, have the Bible. Let's read it. I'm the Bible. I'm always talking about open your Bible. Open your Bible. Open your Bible. You need to read the word. Yeah. Faith come by. Hearing. And hearing by. Word. To walk by. Faith. And not by. Sight. All right. Without faith, it is what? Impossible. We that come to God. What? That he what? That he that he what? That he is. Now you can't tell me you believe he is, and while they're saying, let's praise the Lord, you said this. He brought you out of darkness now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's expecting something for you. All right. For you are a chosen generation. All right. now, I'll go there in a minute. But let me look, look at this. He says in verse number nine. Let's read together. He said, For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles' land, as it were appointed to them. We may be a spectacle unto the world. Angels and men. Tell your neighbor your own spray. All right. You, you, you're not just on display for your neighbor. There are angels depending on and looking at your camera. All right. All right. Come on now. Yeah. Now the angels. Uh, do you all remember the song we used to sing years ago? Some of y'all young people, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But some of you guys, you all that's older. Remember that song we used to sing that I got a song that the angels can sing with me. Remember that song? With me, with me, with me. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. You know what? You know what you're saying? See, the angel can't sing that. He has he has little, if any, understanding of what it means to be redeemed, and yet. When we sing the song, half the folk are doing this. And I'm looking at you like, I dare you. Loose your hands. You got to praise God. That, 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 this is praise. Come on, somebody lift your hands. This is praise. Praise team up and you sit there looking at me. I'm the same at home. Y'all ain't got to worry about the same way. I ain't no different. I'm the same way. Praise team just going at it, and we all looking, just looking at them like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Praise is going on. All right. That's a praise. Put your hand. This, this, you ever see this? This is a praise. All right. My, my palms extended. That's your dog. I'm praising God. He returns. I'm the dog. With your hands are extended like this, that means you want something. You say, well, what about I put my hand up that way, man? I want that. Well, do it that way. That's told out. That means that I'm giving 
God prays regardless to my situation. You're going to have some hard times. You're supposed to. What's going to make you is your trials. But keep in mind, now, uh, we've been. Keep it in mind. You ain't going to always, the sun ain't going to always shine. Neither is the rain always going to fall. You're going to have some hard times. But remember, he that keepeth Israel. Yes. Come on now. Yeah. I flew back last night. Dr. Jones, I couldn't understand how you. I was in North Carolina the last three days when I flew from North Carolina. I even told my wife what, what happened. They, they told us that they weren't going to have any of the stewards get up Kenya and serve us because the turbulence was so bad. Until I saw two pilots talking as he came back. They were changing time. He was telling them that the, the turf was so terrible and scary. He said that nobody needs to be up. You can't answer. So well, that's an hour and 15, half an hour flight from Raleigh to, went into Midway. And when we got on that plane, I just was sitting there. Cause you know what? They can make you, you get up there. Y'all must ain't been up there. I go up there. <laughs> it's a long way down. <laughs>
that they were covenant. I had a covenant with God. All right. Went down to internal revenue. We got to navigating, negotiating, etc. I said, the girl, and I hated it because she was one of us. <laughs> You'll never pay this kind of money back. I got intended. I started to go after her, but you know what I was saying. <laughs> I did. I was intimidated. Don't tell me what God can't do. Come on. All right, all right. And I said to her, I said, I'll tell you what, I'll pray that you be here. Well, I never forget it was I think my payments were three thousand and like eleven dollars or something every month. I told I pray when I make the last payment. You know, God blessed me so I could make the money. All right. Amen. I didn't have that kind of money. Mm. But God opened up the head the way. Yeah, I, know. Know. Mm -hmm. I had a covenant. You got to start loving that covenant. That's why when we talk about giving, you ought to get excited. When you see this envelope, it ought to get you excited. If God puts substance. <laughs>
just look out at the parking lot and tell them, don't tell me you ain't got nothing. I see what you're driving. Yeah. Just no matter how we want to <laughs> resolve our issues, but get your number on. All right. And from this day forward, when you, it's time to take it, put something in there beyond what you normally do. And tell God, shaking together, running over, will men give into your bosom. Just make the procession. He said, oh, Brother Thompson, you know the Lord is able. And they said, you keep on talking to God. You keep on talking to that stuff. I'm telling you what we live in now. All right. The windows open, the windows of heaven open for Sister Thompson and I. All right. My folk in our church will tell you, we're doing things, we ain't got no crowd. But we're doing things that folk that got crowds ain't doing. Right. I'm not making a comparison here. I'm just telling you that the Lord will make a way somehow if you are serious about your giving. I, I like the brother, he said, he, he, he says, uh, George Washington seemed to come to church quite often. <laughs> hmm? I thought that was interesting. I said, yeah, he ain't the only one in church, that's the only one seemed to show his face. <laughs> Hamilton and the in church, they in church for Elder Price, but they don't show their face. No, there's more George Washington in church. We got some folk who ain't left the quarter yet, the 50 cent. They go get a silver dollar and put it in there. That's fine. That's what you've got. That's where you should start. But my wife and I have learned something about a covenant with God in our giving. And everywhere I go, I try to pass it on to our folks. All right. If you're going to be, to whom little is given? If, if you just got, if you just want to stay with the little, okay, it's fine. And so we had this discussion in church, and I had to teach on it. But the pastor, they asked me, he said, uh, which do you want? So should you give off the gross? I don't know why I'm talking. I'm not a bill. They asked me, should you give off the gross or off the net? My former pastor was teaching once. He said, well, let's take a look at that. He said, now, which two would you like to have? Would you like to have gross blessings? <laughs> or net blessings? <laughs> that settled the case. Ties was on the increase. Now, we got a lot of folks sharing and, and, and playing games with but I'm telling you, if you, God, is, uh, is, 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 is said his word, has gone out of his mouth in righteousness and it shall not return him home. All right. I promise you. Yeah. Do you mind if we, uh, like, anybody, anybody got any money? Want to put something in there right quick? Put something in there. Honey, what you got in your wallet? I feel it's going to be a blessing. Anybody put something in there? Press down, I'm saying, find something. Even if you have to borrow a dollar, put something in there. Put something up in, in, in there. Find something. Find something. I see people looking around like they don't know what's going on. They in another world. No, I'm talking to church now. Put something in there. I dare you do it. There's a blessing coming your way. I dare you do it. All right. Aim beyond your reach. Yeah. Leap in the dark. Yeah. Because that's what faith is. All right. You need faith for what you can't see. And if, if anybody got something going on that they want to bring into existence, that's your faith. Right. Faith says hope is real. Yeah. That's what faith says. Yeah. Your spectacle. You can't keep talking about how 